Hey guys, welcome back to Science Plans where we apply the science. Today I am really excited about this video because, of course, Five Nights at Freddy's Ultimate Custom Night has released. Now it's been three days and I know with FNAF 6 I released a video one day after um, the game came out. But I haven't really had time and plus, there's so much stuff to talk about and I don't know what to talk about. So. We're going to do this kind of mini-series, I guess. So, this is a mini-series about the different parts of Five Nights at Freddy's Ultimate Custom Night. So today, we're going to be talking about the cutscenes. And if you don't know what cutscenes I mean, have a look at this. Dear Diary, Yesterday was so amazing, and I met such a wonderful guy. But I don't think it was meant to last, for my heart belongs to another. He's so amazing, and strong, and so, so cute. I've been thinking about him all day, and I think he's really into me too. He's the only one for me. I just know it. And... I know just how to get him. Look at that top hat. That amazing top hat. He'll be mine by the end of the day. I just know it. I told him that I needed help with my homework. But once he's there, I'll have him. And once I have him, he'll be mine forever. There is only one thing that could possibly go wrong. Dear Diary, Yesterday was so amazing, and I met such a wonderful guy. But I don't think it was meant to last. For my heart belongs to another. He's so amazing, and strong, and so, so cute. I've been thinking about him all day. And I think he's really into me, too. He's the only one for me. I just know it. And I know just how to get him. Look at that untamed fur. That amazing silky sheen. He'll be mine by the end of the day. I just know it. I told him that someone ran over his dog in front of my house. But once he's there, I'll entice him with warm cookies, lure him inside, I mean invite him inside, and then I'll have him. And once I have him, he'll be mine forever. There is only one thing that could possibly go wrong. Look at those ears, those amazing ears. He'll be mine by the end of the day. I just know it. I told him that my house was on fire. But once he's there, I I'll tell him that I threw myself on the flames to put them out. He'll be so impressed that he'll fall for me immediately. And once I have him, he'll be mine forever. There is only one thing that could possibly go wrong. Look at those eyes. Those amazing eyes. He'll be mine by the end of the day. I just know it. I told him that I've taken several live hostages at my house. But once he's there, I'll tell him that I let them go because I love him. He'll fall for me immediately. And once I have him, he'll be mine forever. There is only one thing that could possibly go wrong. Look at those strings. Those long, beautiful strings. He'll be mine by the end of the day. I just know it. I told him to come over later. That should be enough. And if he doesn't show up, I'll just go to his house. And if he doesn't open the door, I'll just find a window. Jimmy's always an option. Or 
I could set the house on fire and wait for him to run out. Then he could run into my arms. There is only one thing that could possibly go wrong. Look at that snout. Uh, looks aren't everything. He'll be mine by the end of the day. I just know it. I'll just wait for him after school, throw a bag over his head, hit him with a shovel, and drag him into the back of my car. Then, when he wakes up, I'll tell him that someone was trying to kidnap and kill him. I don't know, balloon boy maybe. And then I'll tell him that I rescued him. He'll fall for me immediately. There is only one thing that could possibly go wrong. Dear Diary, Things didn't work out as I'd hoped, and once again I'm left with nothing but a broken heart. But tomorrow is another day, and I just know that there's a guy out there that's right for me. So I know that's probably just taken up most of the time in this video. However, there's a lot of weird references that we can talk about. And today, I'm not going to talk about the other cutscene, um, which you didn't see, obviously. Um, I'm just going to be talking about this one that you saw. This one is called Toy Chica's... Oh my god, I forgot the name. I haven't actually seen it recently. It's something to do with Toy Chica's high school. And what happens is Toy Chica goes through a daily routine um, going to school, obviously. And every day you saw she meets a new boy who she wants to date or whatever. Um, and she wants them all to run into her arms and stuff. And like she saves them or some way so that um, they can be in love, right? And so at the end of every every class I should say not every day at the end of every class she says that she says that uh, there's only one thing that could possibly go wrong and that's kind of irony because what we see in her backpack every single day is different and the way it's different is because there's a new accessory every day so in day one um, where she's dating Freddy we see a hook Meaning, before this whole cutscene has happened, um, she's dated Foxy, we, we presume. Um, and then in the next day, um, we see a top hat also in her backpack, while she's dating the Twisted Wolf. And then the next day, there's obviously a claw, um, while she's dating, I think it's Funtime Foxy or Mangle or whatever. Um, is it? No, it's Toy Bonnie, yeah. And then the next day we see eyes or whatever. And then the next day we see this um, the mask of the puppet. And then the next day... I I've got this all in the wrong order, but <laughs> whatever. We see all the accessories of the animatronics that she dates, right? Um, and then at the end we are introduced to a scene where she's sat by the tree. And the backpack's behind the tree, obviously. And she says that um, it didn't go as planned. Nothing went as planned. And so there's always tomorrow to get a new guy. So that's kind of the rundown of what the whole story is. What it means is a completely different story. Now, if I was to tell you that this was, in fact, the story of the missing children's incident, you'd probably be a bit confused I guess but it makes sense there's evidence there right first of all let's see let's you know let's um, talk through that's it that's the word let's talk through what actually happens so she goes to school obviously she meets a new boy that blah 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 then she says something weird and it's always a weird description it's like I'm gonna set this house on fire and you'll run into my arms but they're all quite dangerous. I told him that someone ran over his dog in front of my house. But once he's there, I'll entice him with warm cookies, lure him inside, I mean invite him inside, and then I'll have him. And once I have him, 
He'll be mine forever. There is only one thing that could possibly go wrong. Right, and that kind of relates to the fact that um, at the end she says um, what could possibly go wrong or whatever, like, there's only one thing that could go wrong. That always goes wrong because it's always a dangerous act, you know? Um, you know, I, I told someone I'll kill my dog or something. Um, <laughs> I, I forgot what she actually says again. But all of this seems a bit weird. They're descriptions. And what are the descriptions of when we translate it into the FNAF lore? These are the descriptions of how the children died. Now, it's a little weird. It's very weird because in total, there's, I think there's seven animatronics that we know for a fact that Chica has dated. So there's Foxy, then there's Freddy, then there's the Wolf, then there's Funtime Foxy, the Puppet, the Pig Patch, and the other one. Is there another one? Oh, Toy Bonnie. I always forget Toy Bonnie. Yeah, that's seven in total. And so, how can we relate this to the missing children incident? To be truthful, I don't know. Thinking about it now, has William Afton killed seven people? Seven children? Maybe, actually. Maybe. We know about Elizabeth who died. We know about Charlie who died, or Charlotte, or whatever. But obviously the others relate to Jeremy, Fritz, um, what are the other ones? Um, Gabriel, uh, Cassidy, and Susie. So we have them five all there, and they have descriptions of them. I'm not going to go through them in detail, because even I don't know which ones are which, but we, we hear about a dog, and that kind of strikes me, because we haven't heard anything about this dog that Susie has. Um, we just know that it's dead, and and that's it, and that's why she's crying in the Fruity Maze mini game. So, after that, of course, she takes the animatronic home or something, and the one thing that could go wrong goes wrong, and the animatronic dies. How does this relate to the law? Well, of course, William is killing them on purpose, we know that, but... It's, um, it says that, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the, like, the accessories shows that the animatronics are dead. And so we know that the, these children that they represent are dead. Alright? Now, something that I really want to point out, and I don't know if this is a stretch or not, but I'm really happy to have find, found this out if this is true. Okay, now I'm going to look up, and obviously you'll see it on screen, I'm going to look up the gravestone ending. Okay, I'm looking up the gravestone ending in FNAF 6, and obviously it's this nice country countryside kind of view with a tree and loads of gravestones and flowers and bugs and stuff. It's all quite nice, um, you also see the sun there, um, but I always wondered why Scott set it in the countryside, and... I'm going to quickly have a look at the last scene we see in the thingy. We see Chica. Um, I might block... No, wait. We see Chica next to a tree with flowers that are identical. They are the same flowers that we see in the gravestone ending. And we see loads of grass everywhere. We see a big tree that she sat next to. So my theory is that as soon as they die, every day, she comes back to this tree and puts them underground in their graves. Uh, not, not underground in like an underground bunker or anything, but in their graves. You know, she comes here every day to put them in their grave once they're dead. So... My prediction is that Chi Toy Chica is representing William Afton, purple guy, and that purple guy kills off one child with a one day gap in between them. 
I think that's what this is trying to tell. And I think, I mean, I don't know what, I don't know what this um, alludes to us, because there's nothing really new that we should know about because of this, but it kind of confirms that, um, that the missing children incident is the gravestones. I'm really happy I kind of find that, found that out. So yeah, these are 100% the missing children. And yeah, I think that's all that the Toy Chica minigame has to offer. I can't really think of anything else. Now the other the other cutscene is a lot harder and will take a lot more time to go through and so we're going to leave that until next episode. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Goodbye!